Hi, in this video we'll learn how to add a whole number and a fraction. And I'm going to show you two different ways to add a whole number to a fraction in this video. So let's take a look at the example here, 9 plus 2 thirds. Adding the whole number and fraction is pretty easy because we just combine the whole number and a fraction and write that in the form of mixed fraction. So I'm going to write 9 plus 2 thirds as 9 and 2 thirds. See, I got the mixed fraction. Mixed fraction is made up of the whole number and the fraction. So if you separate this, you're going to get this 9 plus 2 thirds. And if you combine it, you can write this as a mixed fraction. Right, so I got 9 and 2 thirds. Now, if you want to convert this into a fraction, what you can do is you can multiply the whole number with the fraction's denominator. So 9 times 3 gives you 27. And then whatever you get, you add that to the numerator. So 27 plus 2 gives you 29. So we're going to put 29 in the numerator. And then we don't change the denominator, so we're going to leave it as 3. So this is going to be 29 over 3. If you need to write this in the form of fraction. But if you want to leave it in the form of mixed fraction, you can just write this as 9 and 2 thirds. I'm going to show you a different way to add a whole number and a fraction, which is more reliable. So let's say if I have 9 and 2 thirds, and if I want to add this, and I'm going to use a different technique to add this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert both of them into fractions. This one is already a fraction. I'm going to convert this one into a fraction by setting the denominator equal to 1. And you always remember that if you have the whole number and if you want to write that as a fraction, you just put 1 in the denominator. And you're not changing the value of it. This is still going to be 9 divided by 1 is still going to give you 9. So we're not changing anything, right? Just this is a different way of writing. Now I'm going to write this 9 over 1 plus 2 thirds. Now to add the fractions, we know that we need to have the same denominators. Here you see that I have different denominators. I have 1 here and I have 3 here. So I cannot add these fractions unless I make the denominators equal. So what I'm going to do is we know that we need to multiply the fractions in order to get the denominators equal, right? So I cannot multiply anything into 3 to make it 1, but I can multiply something into 1 to make it equal to 3, right? So what do I multiply in 1 to make it equal to 3? Well, I can multiply this by 3, so I'm going to multiply the denominator by 3. See, 1 times 3 or 3 times 1 is going to give me 3. But since I'm multiplying my denominator by 3, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 3 because we need to balance the fraction. And see, this 3 over 3 is just a fancy form of writing 1 because 3 divided by 3 is going to give me 1, right? So it's just a fancy form of 1. And then think about this, 1 times 9 over 1. 1 times 9 over 1 is still going to be 9, right? So we're not even changing this, right? We're not even changing the whole number. This is just a different form of writing it, right? And now you can see that I can make the denominators equal. 1 times 3 or 3 times 1 is going to give me 3. And then 3 times 9 is going to give me 27. So I can put 27 on top. And then plus, this is 2 thirds. Now my denominators are equal. I can go ahead and add these fractions, right? So I'm going to add the numerators. 27 plus 2 is going to give me 29. And we're going to put the denominator as it is because we don't change the denominators when we add the fractions. We never add the denominators of the fractions, right? So I got 29 over 3, and you see that we got the same answer here. Now, if I want to convert this improper fraction, this is an improper fraction, right? Because my numerator is greater than the denominator, so this is an improper fraction. Now, if I want to convert this into a mixed fraction, I can do that using the long division method. So I'm going to divide 29 by 3, right? 3 will go into 29 nine times and I'm going to get 27. Three times nine is 27 and when I subtract this nine minus seven gives me two. So I can write this as I'm going to write my whole number first. So I'm going to write the quotient. Quotient becomes the whole number. So we're going to put nine here and then I'm going to use my remainder and divisor to write my fraction. So remainder goes in the numerator and the divisor goes in the denominator. So I can write this as nine and two thirds. And that's going to be my final answer. You see that we got the same thing here, right? So this is just a shortcut of adding. If you have a fraction, if you have a fraction and a whole number, you can just go ahead and add it, write that in the form of mixed fraction, 9 and 2 thirds, and that's going to work. So I hope you feel comfortable in adding whole number and fractions. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.